Parashakti is real guys, she is real and I want to share the click I got about how Parashakti is real with you in this video. So without further ado, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashiva. So in of the previous videos, you know, I shared about how Paramashiva is ultimate. It's the super consciousness which is real, it is eternal, it's always available, it always was and always will and it is always available. And, and that is why it is the, uh, the reality, the something unchanging. In this video, I want to share a click regarding um, in Hinduism, in Sanatana Hindu Dharma, uh, Swamiji shared, we have kind of three components of the, of the world, of the existence, of the reality. There is the manifested existence that we know, everything that is manifested in the universe. The non-manifested, which is antimatter, which is, for instance, the dark matter in the universe, which we consider it's, it's nothingness, but actually it is unmanifest. It's the unmanifest. And, and Swamiji actually brought it back in one of the recent satsang. And there's a space, another space, which is unborn, which is, uh, it's like there is unborn, born but unmanifest, born and manifest. So there's like three kind of spaces and uh, the unborn dimension of, uh, of existence, of reality, of super consciousness is seen, uh, for instance, in the, it, it, it is given various names like Adhomukha, uh, which is the sixth phase of Sadashiva, which is not seen because it is unborn. Um, there is also um, Avyakta, Actually, Advaita is, is not is not manifested, different. So let's say Adomuka. So Adomuka is this unborn, and uh, Paramashiva is also known as unborn as well. So these things are there. So now, having said this, how is Parashakti real? So initially, I was not fully cognizing how Parashakti is real, but in various sampradayas, in Shakta sampradayas, and all that, they say they Parashakti is ultimate. Devi is ultimate. And I mean, Devi is with Sada in, uh, with Paramashiva. She always sits on his left lap and she blesses because she is there. So she is real. So this is a click I got about how Parashakti is real. Shakti is the fundamental energy, which is the source of everything that is manifested. And the universe has no end and no beginning. Because when you go beyond time, beyond Kala, there is no beginning, there is no end. So the manifested, there's all, there was always a manifested existence and there will always be a manifested existence. And even though each manifestations are different and vary, um, the source of the manifestation is the same and that is Parashakti. It is that original, the ultimate Shakti, that ultimate power, energy, that Adi Shakti, the first Shakti, and she is always there. She takes all forms and she changes, but the fundamental stuff from which everything is created is of that Shakti. And that is why Parashakti is real, because she's always available. And I feel this is very important. I'm gonna make a video, I make a few videos in the near future about manifesting powers and all that, and my experiences. And it's important because to manifest powers, you, you have to cognize Parashakti. Um, because manifesting powers is that. Manifesting powers is entering in oneness with Swamiji, entering in oneness with Paramashiva, and from that oneness of Paramashiva, giving, giving the command to Parashakti, to that raw, pure energy, ultimate energy, to manifest in the way we wish, wish it to manifest. So that's very important. So that's one of the clicks I got. So Parashakti should it naturally should be worshipped. She is amazing. She is ultimate. Um, she is real because she's always available, always was, and always will. Actually, Parashakti is uh, depicted as the ultimate devotee, and Paramashiva is depicted as the ultimate guru. Parashakti is the ultimate listening, and uh, Paramashiva is like the ultimate. Um, in giving and you can only uh, manifest if there is that so there's these two components right which break our mind because our mind is again stuck in that dual mode that duality kind of way of existing but actually both need to happen simultaneously Shiva and Shakti 
Shiva is in third eye, Shakti sits in the Muladhara, and when the third eye gets awakened, Shakti is automatically drawn towards the third eye, and that is why you manifest powers, because when Shiva is awakened, Shakti comes, because Shakti is always in the desire of experiencing Shiva, in the listening of Shiva. So when Shiva is awakened, Shakti is awakened. So they, they happen simultaneously, and they, 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 they both they are in that perfect union between that unmanifest and the manifest. Uh, what I feel is like, you know, Paramashiva is the unmanifest, Parashakti is the manifest, and, and then there is that, the, or I should say Shiva is the mani unmanifest, uh, Shakti is the manifest and then Paramashiva uh, is like the source of everything which is manifest, unmanifest and unborn. So um, that being said, it is important to cognize Shakti and to relate to Shakti in everything that we do. Like Swamiji shared in one of the recent satsangs, when you relate to the earth, it is Bhudevi. It is Devi, it is Shakti, it is a form of Shakti and it is very much alive and you need to feel connected to it every time. Even now as I'm sitting on this bench, the intensity, that the presence, the experience I have, the aliveness I experience in this body, the same aliveness is experienced in the bench, in the earth, in everything around me. And I have to get in oneness with that, getting the surrendering to, to, to Paramashiva, to Guru, for that experience to be remembered and bring me back to that original experience where I experience myself in everything that exists. And that is the space of pure oneness, that is the space of Shuddha, Advaitam, pure Advaita. And, and that is the purpose of Sanatana Hindu Dharma, for you to realize that you are Paramashiva, you are in the space of Paramashivam, in that space of Shuddha, Advaitam. So that's what I want to share in this video with you. So if you click with you, give some comments below. Um, tell me what you think, like, subscribe, click the bell icon to be updated with the videos. Thanking you again very much for watching these videos. 2020 is near, so I have an amazing, nice release that is going to be happening on 2020 along with the declarations of the 2020. So stay tuned for that and get yours declaration ready. So let's, you know, have a conscious breakthrough in the year 2020. So with this, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Nityananda. Thank uh you. -huh.